Oh, it's a single jack curve. Is it a single jack curve? Okay, that has to go. It has to, excuse my language. Um, this saw, the reason they did that is so that people would stop cooking saws. Yeah, so they wouldn't lean them out. It's true. You need to get another carburetor. I mean, we can play I with see this, but a, I know... There's a, there's a hole down here, It's but not it's put there... Yeah, it's a case, right? So it's, it'll, it'll adapt to different things, but, but um, my 125s... Same time. I took one off. Yeah. I, you know, they'll only let you go so far. Yeah. And that's great, and the saw will live forever. Yeah. But me and you know how to run power saws, and we know how to file chains. So, uh, but guys that don't will burn the saw, that's why they did that, in my opinion. Because they had a rough time with oh, the yeah, chrome. Well, they couldn't keep I've chrome a, on cylinders. I had a, had a long guy told me, um, Dick's uh, log in, he got a bunch of huskies. He sent them out to the guy in the field. Yeah. Well, as soon as they got them, they get the screwdrivers off you got and wind it. them up about 15 grand. You got know? it. And then the next thing you know, they're in the shop and they're all cooked. Yeah. And they don't clean the air cleaners. Yeah. So this thing's running a little, little, starting to bog out a little bit. So I think I'll tweak that high screw up. Why not sharpen the chain, clean the air cleaner, and just give it a week or two. Mm -hmm. Let the metals get to know one another. Now I would change that. Okay. And, and I don't know if you got one here. Maybe there's one on site. Take a peek around. Yeah. Talk to the, to the. You I might know, have one. Take it off because. What? Okay. It's, I, it's I, I two jets. Stick, I, yeah, I got to stick with the same CC or the same model of carburetor. I would. I would. Yeah, just even an 800 one, uh, one in, but get a double jet car. This thing wants to run with the horse fly. But this was, we'd have been, we'd have been real close to them by just yesterday with them hot dogs. I'm not kidding. These things cut. They cut. I want to see a double jet car run. I do. I gotta get over here. Fire that thing up. Captured that yeah. with it. It's I, I'm really I, and this like that was his deal. That's very subtle, well, isn't it? it? Doesn't, it just, yeah. yeah. I didn't notice it until like after he had it in his hands. That's like, really? Yeah. I mean that's that's. I've subtle. seen it sign a million times in the background. Yeah. 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 And you know what the cool thing about that is it, it, and that actually when he talked about that is my tattoo. Okay, buddy. When I got when I told you I didn't get by that tree. Okay. 
Well, when I got hit by that tree and I was crawling out of the bush, I had a broken leg in my back, and I was crawling up through, through like the log and slash and broken trees and real hard ground to get through. <laughs> and I was pulling myself with my body, my upper body, pulling myself because I knew I had to go. I knew I had to go. So, um, see that? W E N D. Okay, and Hogan is H O G A, and they share the same N. That's my so that's my wife. <coughs> and then Hogan, you met Hogan. <coughs> Excuse me. And Rita is up top. There's her R. See it there a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I wanted it to be subliminal yeah. in, in the bark, so it was kind of hard to see. Yeah. You know, a lot of people. You know, you would never, if you didn't know it was there. <laughs> and that's kind of what I wanted, just subliminal, yeah. you know, so it worked out good. I actually designed it. That's, I like it. Yeah, it turned yeah. out good, thank you. So you. Make sure you comment, give me them thumbs up. Oh, crazy YouTubers need the thumbs up, man. Yeah. <laughs> that keeps us rolling, bud. Okay, buddy? Good man. So how did you get the name Bucket? That, that actually, one of my guys at work, they mentioned your name. What do you do? I said, I do a fall, limb, buck, climb. I says, I do it all. What do you need? He says, well, I got to slash him. That's kind of the grunt of the, you know, grunt of the gig. Slash him out, hydrolyze him. I said, I'll take it. 15 bucks an hour slashing on a power saw. Wow. Now I'm saw that. That slashing, boying out of them ditches, that's all day long slash. We run in 365s. Okay. which is like a 372 yeah it's basically almost i think it's the same weight as a matter of fact but they're 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 a workhorse they're a dog yeah. good good work dog um so uh but when i quit there i didn't i couldn't go with the way they were running their business it didn't sit right with yeah. me so i just left i said it's time for me to go see you later and uh, i started my own business two weeks early two weeks after i quit my job there, we were trying to find a name for my business yeah so I never used my name Billy Ray. Yeah. I, I was BR. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was called, BR. Yeah. And, you know, I wasn't Billy Ray. Some people started calling me Billy Ray here and there, but through, through, through when I started around saw. So, so what are we going to name the business? Well, what do I do? Yeah. I buck. That's what I do. I buck. I'm always bucking. Yeah. It was simple. Bucking Billy Ray, and that was it. It took about 10 minutes, and we had the name for the business, and we never looked back. That yeah. was it. Yeah, so it came from Bucking. Huh. That's where it came from. Yeah. It came from the actual term. I like that. Yeah. It took Monday. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I put on there, Michael, thanks for being here. Be kind. Love Bucking. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for supporting us. I'm yeah, looking you know, forward to seeing you on the channel. Right back there. Yeah, I like this. Us. I think it's going to be good. Good to see you. How's it going? Good. Good, good to see you. You too. Let me get a picture. <laughs> Cheese. Fucking stock. Fucking stock. Here we go. Fucking stock. <laughs> Thank you. So and I told my son to record it. He'll give you the, the video. I don't know if it's any good because he's the one who was recording. It was good. I was watching. All right. Charlie? Who's next? Charles. Charles, you son of a gun. Charles, you best so friend. nice talking to you on the oh, internet. Yeah, I'm glad you came, buddy. It's good to see you. I love the shirt. Did you, you see your mom up that tree? Did you? Yeah. Good man. Yeah, mommy was here. Now, is this your sister? Yeah, this is Bibi. Bibi? Come here. Hi, I'm Bucket. Nice to meet you. Who am I always watching on YouTube? Remember? Thank you for coming. You That's my YouTuber. Where'd you get that shirt? That looks familiar. That is my favorite Buck and Billy Ray logo. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm catching my breath. You're right. <laughs> you guys, I can't believe that you came. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. Any, any time. Yeah, I'm not going to Europe. Europe. Yeah. No, I, I hope to get there and cut some trees for a guy. You will. Hey, where's this guy going? I'm going to try it. Get up there, <laughs> I inspired. Get up there. <laughs> if Killing Day could do it. <laughs> Mike, can you? Take care of these people. Okay, here, good dear, good dear, good dear. Good man. I'm not much of a... No, you are. You got her up there. <laughs> I don't know how to do this stuff. Oh, yeah. It's in you your hands. Wait. If you're confident enough, you please carry on. Yeah, yeah, we got to show you the Danny. Oh, you just, you look like you're doing good, buddy. I love it. I play. 
This is going to be golden for you guys in here. You can look back at this and say, Yeah. Well, you said you wanted to climb.
I didn't tell you I was running a raffle, did I? I'm running a raffle. Hey, baby. All right. Okay. We're not playing around. I'm not in a raffle. I'm not in a raffle. If I win, that's going to fall out of the gray, actually, because I'm going to get inside. Oh, this is for a fellow who had to go get his credit card. Okay, cool. So, are we ready to do this? We are. This is awesome. Enough. Playing around. Going once, going twice. Oh, honey. What the? Did you see what my wife just did? Wonder, wonder, that's what we're wondering. Are we ready? Yeah, we are, but it's here. It, 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 yeah. Here we go. I want you to, to give the number. He's digging deep. He's, he, this, he's a fair man. This man has a heart in his chest. He wants to be as fair as he can. He's digging, he's turning, he's looking. All right. He's bobbing, he's weaving. The ticket number is two, three, eight, zero, three, six, three. Oh my dear Lord. That's the number I wanted. <laughs> That's the number you wanted, eh? So, so that number again. What? Check your keys. Two, three, eight, zero, six. Oh, my bad. Two, three, eight, zero, three, six, three. 363 are the last three numbers in that raffle to win this side. Don't tell me you're coming back for Oh, you got to be kidding me. You turn a sock. You turn a sock. He got another sign. This is Glenn. Glenn Campbell. I call him the Ryan Stone Cowboy. Yeah. Glenn Campbell. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you haven't been here that long. How long have you been here? February. February. So he's, he's been on fairly recently. Uh, I got him on WhatsApp. We chat all the time. Uh, he's been a big part. He's been a big part. He's been here every day. He likes to know what's going on. And if I don't put a video up in a couple of days, he's wondering where I'm at. And he lets me know. Congratulations to you, buddy. Big hand for this guy, everybody. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Clyde. Thanks for being here last night. He, he, could be, he could be lying. He said, you need to see my ticket. You're probably right. Oh, it's not 6-4. I'm sorry, sir. 6-3. <laughs> Um, you want to say anything or are you good with this? Okay, I thought you might be. So you didn't want to say Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, nice job on that, Charlie, by the way. Isn't that pretty cool? Thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being my friend. Thank you so much. You on the guys, safe travels home. Yeah. See ya. Right. Yep, see you around, man. Thanks for all your work, man. You really did a good job. No problem. Glad you enjoyed it. See you in a lot. See, see you guys. guys. All right. See you. Hey there. I'm Wayne. Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you, Kevin. Okay. And your name? Brett. Okay. All right. Great. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, yeah. You're the guy. Thank you so much. See you on the channel. Where's the old man? Okay. Yes, we will. Okay. All right. See what the hell we're done. I saw that. 
You're on your way. Have a safe one. See you, buddy. Yeah, yeah that's you'll be on the channel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let, let, let's talk about this for one second. So, so this this one was in rough shape. It was in really rough shape. It was. Okay. And, and yesterday I wasn't going to tackle it with my hand like that. Yep. Today it's not so bad. Uh, th this would have need. Like, this is where just this old train of thought, you know, this old train of thought would have worked in a chain that was. It would have worked. But me, watch what happens to this too. Watch mm -hmm. what happens to it. And watch what I do. And don't be afraid to this mindset. And, and, and I can get it like this. I'll just. It's just going to take a while. You got you to gotta get it out. You got to get it out. You got yeah. you got a huge gullet there. So this is the thing I say don't do. Well, we have to do this right now in order to get that tooth out. Mm -hmm. We can either do that or we can go like yeah. this. Look at this, this won't even go through here. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're using the wrong file, right? But see here. how hard that is to actually get that back? Mm -hmm. So actually, just I just rang it, tanged it, and actually look at the chain. It's actually semi how it's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. And that was haywire looking. But I just done. It was retarded. Over the place, I was like this. But at least Doug gave us a good example of how to rock a saw. Yeah. You so, standing right behind you, right? Yeah, yeah. I sure do. <laughs> so so what I'm saying is is uh, I'm glad you brought me over to show this. Yeah. So because I like doing the hand file. Yeah. I just want to know yeah. make sure I know how to do it. Yeah, you you were after the gullet like crazy and that was good, but you you just had the wrong file in your hand. Especially if you rock something out real bad. This thing was rocked out bad. It was real bad. I don't know if you saw it before. It, it, it was bad. It was it was peeled over. You could see like dark. Oh, well, there's still some here. Yeah. <laughs> there's still some here, and it's been filed. It wouldn't have cut. It wouldn't. It would have done better than it was. It yeah. would have done better. You would have been able to cut, but you would have been. You killed the saw after a while. Yeah. Out. So 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 remember, there's a couple ways to do that. You just saw it happen right in front of your eyes. I cleaned the tooth up like that, but look at the file. It's, it, it's literally up like this. And why we need that to happen is because the tooth is bent right over. It's hooked right, there's a massive hook in this chain. There's a huge aggressive hook in this chain. So so we can we can still bring that back, but see how the chain's, see how it's kicking back? I gotta pull back on this because the gullet's gone. It's wiped right out. So this little file, so personally what I would do to get this done properly and fast is I would grab the proper size file. Which is the 732 back? Yeah. It's, it's working, it, it's going through, it's not really lifting the chain a ton. It's still lifting it because it's probably a bit loose. But I'm running straight through the file, or pardon me, straight through the chain. I'm gonna, there it goes. Did you see that big flake just yeah. peel right off the top? Yep. That big flake just peeled. That was all that stuff that needed to go that was actually left. Now that whole edge is getting straight. Well, now let's just finish it up and you can look at the two. So, You know, it, it yeah. looks like a tooth again. It's right on line with that. I don't know what the gullet looks like because I can't see it, but I think it's probably pretty normal. Yeah. It should look pretty normal over there. It looks like pretty it, good. Like stock. Yep. Does that does that look like a stock hook on that? I, yeah. Yeah, like out of the box, right? It is, I can tell by this by the look of the chain here. So so that's why you guys see me when I when I do the when I go after the gullet, right? I'm I'm doing this stuff, the bow. I only do that. I only. I don't do that on the first part of the chain because it's. It, you're given a chain that looks like this. That's what the chain looks like. So in my mind, they're giving you their chain that looks like this, and it cuts pretty good. I. I don't like the way it cuts stock. I'm always in there playing around. But that's what they give you. So I think we should maintain that right till we're finished with it. Makes sense. So, I mean, species and all that makes sense. But I'm talking in a general sense. So you guys see me going like this. That young fellow, the red-headed fella, he came up when we were, I don't know if you guys were here when we were doing the filing thing yesterday. He came right up, I asked him to come up and I said, he goes, you know what I do? He says, I file my chain. You weren't here for this, this was interesting. He said, I, I file my chain for about halfway through the chain and then I take it into the shop and I give it to them to get it back to where I need it. So what that tells you, because the chains get smaller as they come back, Anyone can see that, they get smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're not square, they're like that. So with a big file, so I, I actually think a good thing to do, and it would get rid of his problem, and he's probably gonna do it now we talked about it. Uh, use the 7.30 seconds for half the chain, right? 
the, and then you'll notice you'll probably start to lose your gullet a bit. Halfway down the chain, you'll start to notice that that C will start to, you'll kind of lose it in the bottom and it'll start, and you'll, your chip will actually become smaller because you're not grabbing that big chunk of wood with that big C. Does that make sense? So, so, so that's why you see me doing this stuff. Because I just quickly go in, get that gallop. You don't have to do this. You can literally just go down. Go down four or five times. Grab the gullet, start straightening out. Slowly start straightening that out. To do your cleanup cuts, you just want to get to wherever you usually used to fight on that, which is pretty close to straight across for me. I don't do the five degree thing. Sometimes I do, it depends. I, I'm just, I'm pretty much straight across. So, you had the wrong file in your hand, mm -hmm. and you dug a humongous ditch out, and you left the, the, the cutting corner and the top, top plate right alone. So I overdid That's the right. bottom and underdid the top. But you had the wrong file in your hand. So it wasn't your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I'm not tweaking. Right. So does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. So, I mean, we, the, so this chain, it is going to take yeah. some sweat and yeah like that one still ain't got a corner it up. doesn't it doesn't no because it's actually convex yeah that that top tooth goes like this yeah you want it to be straight you want your edges to be straight mm -hmm. so so but this isn't a bad cleanup this isn't a, every tooth on a chain when you rock a chain when you rock a chain out i don't know about you but when you're digging and, and you're cutting firewood and you that's why i can't stress enough if you're cutting firewood just cut three quarters of the way through the freaking log. Yeah. Just, just, just don't cut all the way through. I do it. We're all guilty of it because we want that thing to fall off more. Just cut three quarters of the way through. Stop. Go find some air somewhere. If it's a thirty-foot log, you might find air at ten feet. Actually, air where you can underbuck the log. So buck three quarters of the way because that thirty-foot log's hard to roll. But it's much easier to move a six or an eight-footer or a ten or even twelve-footer. So cut three quarters of the way all the way through. You're out of the dirt. You haven't come near to the dirt. Find that little spot of air up there somewhere. That's, what I, all, that's the first thing I look for when I go to buck a log. Is what am I going to do? I don't just fall a log and start bucking. I step back. I look. I go, okay, my game plan is, oh, good. That's up in here. I'm going to take that to there. That's the tough bucking. I'm going to go out. I'm going to work back from the top. So if I work back from the top, that buck's going to jump up in the air because there's a foul from the... Like, there's a lot to it. it it's not just let's go. Take a look at that log. T assess the situation. Uh, remember, like yesterday, who was here for the we're, we're bucking? We're told to not go buck stuff that's that's on a side hill down, fall a tree, it goes down there. If it's dangerous, just leave it. Let the machines get it. Stay out of it. We're told not to buck it because bucking on the bottom side can be quite dangerous. So, but we we don't run into that situation on a daily thing. So, uh, here, here's another tooth. To me, it looks like. You, you did a half, not a half. That, that, see that? You did that. And that actually doesn't look that bad at all. I need to see your stroke now. You're on, you're on camera. Get, let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. So that what, one, what's your plan? So, so you that have... That one there? No, that, that one one's there. done. So you filed that, and it, probably yep. what it was is it didn't get beating. And that's what I was going to say a minute ago. When you're cutting and you rock a chain, you don't rock every single chain on there the exact same amount. You could whack one side of the chain real bad and you could hit the other side maybe not so bad. So how are we to keep these freaking teeth the same size? It can happen. It's a waste of freaking time in my mind. That's what these raker, rakers are for. Anyway. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. So, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I just need to see your stroke. I, I want to see what you're doing here. looking good so well, that's good to see so you, you see how he's he's actually using that pole hand yeah but he's using the pole hand the chain in my mind is probably a tad loose a tad just because if the chain's flipping back a bit don't try and file a loose chain you don't want it kicking back on you you want it to stay in the rail stay in the rails Okay, so you're looking at that top teeth. You're looking at that top tooth, aren't you? Yep. And right now you're probably trying to get rid of a little burr, aren't you? They're a little burr, but they're still not that corner, that point in the corner. Okay, you have should have, have that yet. by now. 
And so what's happened is is you you Wrong. might need to you may uh, you might need to do Change something. Change my angle Yeah, because that, that chain wasn't in bad shape, or that tooth wasn't. You, what's happening is you're missing it. You're you're not even hitting that corner somehow. So I'm coming this yes. way too much. You, you, I'm well, skipping that something. You're missing the, the working more. corner. Okay. So so when you're doing it, you're down deep. Okay, so I know exactly what's happening. The chain's rocking back. You're still missing it. Okay, so watch what happens. I almost need to be pulling up on it. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do no, that. No, you don't need. That's a bad habit to get into. Where's the tooth you were working on? That one. That's the one there? Yeah. Okay, so now, look it. You're, you're into the strap down here. You're still deep. You're still too deep. Okay. Yeah, you're still too deep. So, uh, that working corner's going to disappear. Watch the file. Watch what happens. Okay, you're, you're doing great. You got a nice stroke. You do. You, you got a nice, a good looking stroke on your on your file. It's you, you're you're. That's why I I urge people d d don't stay in this same vein. Don't be afraid to go. Okay, I'm not getting that working corner. Maybe I'm just gonna see what happens when I do this a little bit here and just just for a second. Just oh, there there it goes. Did you see uh, that? Yeah. It's gone. It's there. It is. I just flaked off. Yeah. Okay. So see, there's a. So actually, that's a working corner now. Yep. But it's not done. Right. So so all you're doing, Raj, is you're you're deep. You're mm -hmm. staying deep. So I wanna I wanna this chain's kind of an experiment chain. So uh, it really makes a difference. All this all this makes a difference. What yeah. what's really bad is is this. This is bad. This side to side thing. To be honest, this this isn't that bad. But your final three to four or five strokes, your finish up strokes, should be looking something like this. Right? There she goes. Snowman, we're getting ready to head home, brother. 
pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you too. We'll it was do a it good again. time, wasn't it? Oh, it was the best time of my life. Ready for next year. Me too. <laughs>